Hello, I'm Magic Jack. I'm a magician. And here, I'm going to show you some of my greatest tricks. I will not reveal them, though. But they sure are mind altering. Go. Well, for this trick, I'm going to need my assistant, Trevor. Trevor, would you please come out? Okay, here we go. Okay, so for these two props need thorough examination. This ring is made of chrome, metal, and um, there's no secret openings, so you can pull it, do anything. I'll turn it all the way around. No secret openings at all. Then this rope, no secret openings. Just a nylon cord. And yeah, so let's do the trick. Okay, Trevor, now right here. Um, okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab the other end of this and watch. I'm going to put this ring on and lock it. Trevor, give it a good shake. Okay, now I shall lock it. Okay. okay, so here's how I'm going to lock it. I'm going to pull it towards me like this, twist it, and I'm going to double lock it by putting the end of the string th through here like that. See? Locked. Okay, now watch. As I pull this, it's not coming off, but with a couple magical spins, it will. One, two, three. It should come off perfectly. Okay, so here I have a hanky. I want to color this hanky air colored. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stroke it. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna dunk it into my hand, which contains air colored paint. Now, hold on, I really gotta get it in there. And now there's nothing in this hand. See? So um, now air colored paint is really hard to find. I think it's ready now. Do a good stir. Okay. There you have it, an air-colored hanky. Woo! Caught it, and now... <laughs> that probably didn't work. Okay, um, now I'm just gonna put it in, the, I'm gonna grab it in this hand, and I'm gonna put it back in here, so that it stays, and then I have to get this paint off somehow, so... Mix it around a bit, and... Voila, the hanky's back. Here I have a dollar, and um, now I'm going to roll this dollar up. But I don't know if you knew this. It's just an interesting fact that kind of goes with this trick. Because you know they make dollars out of fabricated, uh, out of paper with like fabric in it? If you look really close and dig deep enough, you can see the fabric. As you can see, there. And then, but... This dollar will have a big hole in it, so I put it put it back. But there we go. Thank you. Okay, I have two paper clips in my hands. They're in my hands because they really want to be together. Watch. No, you can't be with her. So to separate them, I'm gonna put them on this dollar. It's a normal dollar bill. No. Okay. Now. Stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it, okay? Okay, I got them on the dollar, as you can see. Now they're never getting enough. Oh gosh, no. They're double! Okay, this is the one trick that I'm actually going to reveal to you. Um, rubber, ba this is how you perform it. Rubber bands can um, go get away colds. They, like, if you have a stuffy nose, just shoot one of these. Watch. That hits the spot. Here's how you do it. Take a normal rubber band, stretch it as far as it goes, not to, not what, to break it, but just as its maximum stretching point. Then you turn it to an X, put your middle finger there, and sling it back. And then what you do, you actually go like this, but let go. It shoots right back into your hand. But to the pro prospector's point of view, it looks like it shot up your nose. So, yeah. This trick is called the changing aces. So, magical hands come out. Okay, um, I'm going to give you two hot cards. Your first card's going to be the ace of spades. So, I'll put that face down on the table. Your next card is going to be the ace of clubs, as you can see. So, I'll put that one on the table. But I'm going to offer you a trade. 
I'm going to take this one away. And now, logically, what is that card? This one right here. Ace of Clubs. Yep, so fine, I'll give you your Ace of Spades back. But presto, I reveal they have changed color. They are now two red aces. Thank you. This trick is called the four aces, so I'll call the hands. Please divide this deck in half. And now divide these two in half. Okay, and now hands, I want you to divide this. I want you to take the top three cards of this, put them to the bottom of the deck, and take the next three cards and deal one to each of these. Good. Now the same with the next decks. And I shall reveal one ace, two ace, three ace, and four ace. The four aces. Okay, this trick is called the flip-flop force. Now hands, I want you to take a small portion of that deck and flip it over onto the top. And now do that same thing, but even, even deeper in. Okay, now, just to mix it up even more, I'm going to take these cards away even. Okay, or we're not going to use those. Okay, now, take that top card. That's your secret card. Okay, um, I see, what is it? It looks like, is that an A or a 4? No, it's a, it's a 7. A 7 and it's a, I see... It's black, it looks spades or clubs. It's a seven of clubs. Yeah! So I'm going to try a new magic trick. I just saw it on TV. This guy took a quarter, he put it down, he rubbed a salt shaker over it. Well, I have a Spice Islands thing, probably the closest thing I could find. He rubbed it on it, he rubbed it over, and it vanished. And he showed it nothing. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to cover it, cover this, okay? And now, okay, now I'm going to rub it over. Still there. Dang it. Let me try again. Oh, my God. It's still there. I'm so mad. Let me try one more time. Still there. Ah, I'm so mad. What the heck? The salt shaker, so-called salt shaker, vanished. I'm sorry to say, this is my last trick. It's called the coin melting into the table. Okay, watch. As I melt it into the table. 